Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one Theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can find me on Theta TV as well. All right, in today's video, I have three news updates for you through the uh, Theta ecosystem. The first one has to do with a Volt Swap. There is one quick little update that I want to make sure everyone is aware of. The second update has to do with Theta Drop. And yes, it actually, one of the updates has to do with this Katy Perry. It now says coming soon, as you can see right here. Uh, so we should be prepared, hopefully soon, within the next couple days or weeks, uh, for her second drop on the official Theta NFT drop website, Theta Drop. And then the last little bit of news is something to do with uh, Coinbase, as we know. And I just want to spread a little bit of news, something that I just found. It might have been out there for a while, but I just want to make sure everyone is up to date with it as well. All right, so moving on to the very first story. So as we know, Theta and Meter, they partnered together with something called VoltSwap. And this brought decentralized finance onto the Theta ecosystem. I've made a couple videos in the past about this, so I won't talk all too much about it. But as you can see here, there are some pretty awesome APYs from you know different ecosystems so t fuel and wrapped ethereum t fuel usd you can uh, add these to liquidity pools and get some pretty awesome apy back but what we get paid back in is bolt and for the longest time bolt never really had any estimated apy if you just wanted to add bolt to this pool right here as we can see here now it is 28 percent so not too shabby it's not you know your 177 percent or um, your 200 percent i saw that a little bit earlier but you know 28% that's not bad at all and as we know uh, or if you do not know uh, whenever you do add liquidity to these liquidity pools uh, your rewards are paid out in Volt so it is nice to once again you can uh, have excess T fuel and then you can deposit it in Volt Swap uh, with a liquidity pool kind of like this one I believe this is T fuel and uh, BNB uh, yep T fuel and BNB you get paid out in Volt and you can see my stake value this is just about nine dollars this was just a test run for me and once I get done with this I can unstake I can claim these rewards which is about five volt and I can either you know swap the volt for USDC or T fuel or if I just want to earn some additional passive income then I can just throw it in this pool over here and start earning about th uh, 28 percent back so that's the first thing that I just want to share with everyone that bit of news came out recently um, so that is a welcome bit of uh, news for everyone the second bit of news uh, yes it's data drop and Katy Perry as you can see her second drop should be coming up soon and I will keep everyone up to date as soon as I learn about those and we are all very excited for those to come. But what I do want to keep everyone up to date with as well is Theta Drop officially implemented two-factor authentication and not just using your email, but now you can use an authenticator app. And those are very much more secure than using email or your phone number as an authentication source. So if you're unfamiliar with it, you can use any app, any authenticator app. The ones that are recommended are like Google Authenticator. And once you uh, scan the QR code or you can type in a code, uh, what you will get is a six digit um, string of numbers and it changes every 20 to 30 seconds or so. And in order to authenticate yourself, you have to log onto your phone, log into this app, and then type in the correct set of numbers. So that is a welcome piece of security. Uh, there was some news on uh, Twitter about some people potentially getting hacked in uh, some of their secret pineapple society pineapples being uh, traded and their funds just liquidated out of their account. So this is a very welcome piece of additional security for everyone. And also, since I'm talking about security, I also want to bring up the fact that if you don't already have a Trezor or a Ledger, make sure to purchase one of those. I love the Theta official wallet, um, but there are a lot of hackers out there. There are a lot of scams out there. And once again, this is another layer of security that you can use to protect yourself and your funds. So very important. It doesn't matter which one you get. They're both really awesome. I recommend either one of these two, but just make sure you're going out there and protecting yourself. Uh, another bit of news that happened uh, just recently was the very first airdrop was complete for the Cosmographia NFTs. And if you had a gold 
uh, NFT, then you got a remastered version and a new uh, NFT that was another gold copy. And this is pretty sweet because just look at the prices of these NFTs. They are in the thousands. So once again, a really awesome welcome to the Theta Drop community is just these airdrops. That's why these NFTs are very lucrative and the Theta NFTs are actually something that people should more people should know about more people should buy them i like them right now because not as many people know about them so i can continue to buy them but uh the more you know the word spreads about this the better for the overall ecosystem and this is just another uh tweet from official theta drop just saying that everyone with a uh golden cyberpunk animal has been airdropped in hd remastered version of your nft so that was the second bit of news, which is a bunch of Theta Drop updates and the last little bit of news, a little bit of hopium here, but it has to do with Coinbase. And this was something that just got brought to my attention recently. So I bet, you know, other people might not know it as well. And as we know, Coinbase is one of the larger U.S. exchanges. So if Theta were to get listed on Coinbase, then that is just a lot more liquidity, a lot more capital that would flow into the Theta ecosystem and would eventually be beneficial to the overall price. So that's why a lot of people are excited about this one. But the bit of news that I learned about recently was on coin market cap. And I don't think there's any correlation between coin market cap and uh, the executive team over at Coinbase. But in the potential listings for future coins that are going to be moved over to Coinbase. As you can see here, the number three, third one down is the Theta Network, Theta token. So just something, you know, I was excited when I learned about that. I think it's pretty awesome. There's a bunch of coins on here. As you see, the list kind of goes on, but just seeing that Theta is one of the potential, you know, front runners to potentially get listed on uh, Coinbase is also very awesome. So those are the uh, three pieces of news. Once again, just see a little bit of hopium with Coinbase and a potential listing. A uh, couple updates from Theta Drop as far as an airdrop. Uh, Katy Perry, uh, her new NFT drop should be coming soon. And then two factor authentication is here. Make sure you uh, add that extra layer of security to protect yourself. And then lastly, a little bit of news from Volt Swap. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one.